Now in this part of the question then we've got to find out the maximum volume V by using calculus which means we need to differentiate this. So first of all we differentiate this with respect to R in the usual way so it's dV dr okay. Differentiate the first term the power of R is 1 so just multiply 1 with the 400 and subtract 1 from the power and you get R to power 0 or just simply 400. For the next term we've got 3 times the pi is 3 pi reduce the power by 1 so you've got R to the power 2 minus 3 pi R squared. Now basically what we know is that this represents the gradient of this curve and at a stationary point, um, the maximum would be a stationary point, so I'm just going to say at a stationary point, we know that that gradient on the curve dv dr would equal 0. So that means that therefore 400 minus 3 pi r squared must equal 0. I need to rearrange this for r. So if I was to add 3 pi r squared to both sides I'd have 400 equals 3 pi r squared and if I was to divide both sides by 3 pi and then take the square root I'd have r equals the square root then of 400 over 3 pi. Now if you work this out on your calculator what you should find that you get is the decimal 6.5147 and so on. Don't round that up because we're going to need it for the next part. So the next part is that we substitute this in for V. So the formula V is up here so therefore we can say that V equals 400 multiplied by R which is now 6.5147 and so on minus and it's pi R cubed so pi times this number again 6.5147 and so on all cubed. Do that on your calculator and again what you should find is that you get 1737.253 and so on. We are asked to give the volume V to the nearest centimeter cube so this is going to be 1737 centimeter cubes and don't forget to put the approximation here in brackets and that will be to the nearest centimeter cube. Alright well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.